This picture of our, is of our 2012 mission trip to British Guiana, South America in, in January. There are two reasons I'd like to go there. Number one is they speak English. Number two, they're all short like I am. The man in the orange shirt and straw hat is our missionary leader, Norman Walker. The man on the left with the white shirt is Charlie Hoskins, a pastor and a teacher. The lady on the left is Kathy Bentley, who is a missionary and Bible teacher. The rest of the team are lay leaders and with a desire to serve Christ in witnessing and drill wells. On this trip, we witnessed approximately 100 men and women and children accept Christ as their personal Savior. Our team with loaded boats ready to go in the interior with food and supplies to distribute. We had rice, sugar, salt, flour, 50 machetes, a good supply of garden seed sold to us at cost by Lowe's, Bibles and Christian literature, facial thanks to Bob and Velma Martin, Purdue Student Agronomics Club, and others to supply the funds to purchase many of these items. This pump was installed seven or eight years ago by the government in Guyana. It worked for only two or three months. It broke down and needed repairs, but was never repaired. Before we put in our wells, these people drank out of the rivers or shallow water holes like this one. 20% of their children die from dysentery from drinking waterborne diseases. Team members and boats are hauling supplies and pumps to get to the well sites. Our big boat could not reach a well site, so we had to use the canoes. The tall Guyanese man accepted Christ as his savior while he worked with our team. Two of our men, Odie and Jake, driving a 10-foot section of pipe eight and a half foot deep into the well site. Gary is using a 20-foot section of half-inch water pipe with water pressure behind it, creating a cavity 20-foot deep. This is Gary and another team member, Ryan's, second mission trip to Guyana. Men removing the 20-foot section of pipe. Jason is getting the pump ready to install. After the Navy people pump for one or two hours, they have good drinking water. The health officials in Guyana tell us that Norman Walker Ministries is doing more to er eradicate sickness and death than their own government. Gary on the right is our pump repair man. He installs a new kit and two pumps that needs repairs and we have a new pump again that can last one to four years depending upon usage. Randy on the left heads up the pipe driving team and Pastor Adams heads up the pipe clean out team and installs the pumps. The first day we were able to drill 13 new wells and repair six. The total we installed during the trip was 39 new wells and repaired 13. I watch and share Christ with people in the village. This picture shows how much use these pumps get. The grade 8 bolts have worn a slot one inch deep in the quarter inch steel plate. To eliminate this problem, a manufacturer in Logansport, Indiana, Todd Miller, came up with the idea of a hardened sleeve to mount in the top plate. Todd has friends in Fort Wayne, Indiana, who makes the sleeve and they donated several hundred for our use. It's not what you know sometimes, but who you know. God knew exactly what we needed and who could supply that need. This couple are as dedicated as they get. They have nine children and make their living by raising and selling cassava for baking bread. He donates his time as a pastor and his wife is a wonderful encourager. He walks one half hour to church from his own. The printing above, bringing a living Jesus to a dying world is their earnest desire. This is his church. Thanks to another Christian brother in Indiana, Dennis, whose monetary gift was left with this couple to paint the church and purchase a generator for the church. Leads us to say they were thrilled. Inside the church are wooden benches without cushions, and the church services normally last two hours. They spend the first 45 minutes or so singing praises and then the message. They are very sincere in their singing and worship. 
This is a Hindu church in Parika, which is four hours away from the areas we go into. Hindu and Muslim are the main religions in the cities in Guyana. For some unknown reason, they haven't gone into the interior to promote their beliefs. Maybe they are afraid of water and don't like to sleep in tents. These people are bidding farewell to us as we leave their village. We drilled six wells for them, and they had none before. We were also able to give them garden seeds and money to start a chicken project. They are going to use the profits for a school lunch program for 89 students. Some children walk three miles to school. We took 20 volleyball nets and 40 volleyballs so the pastors could get more youth involved in the church. In order to play volleyball, they must attend church. Churches then compete and have a traveling trophy. Needless to say, the kids love this. This is the first year we have seen a boat bus. The kids are on the way to school. Notice they have uniforms. This is a normal after-school scene. Boats everywhere by the young. On this one, note that there is no wiggle room. The water is at the top of the boat. This lady is making cassava bread. Cassava is similar to a sweet potato and is grown in the ground. It is then shredded and the bag is draining off the poisonous liquid and what is left is safe to make bread. Once the liquid is boiled, it thickens and is used like jelly. This is a main staple, but is basically tasteless to us. We didn't care for it at all and this is their main diet. This is another pastor and his wife that our team was able to help with the church and village. This is a spatial picture of Odie heading to the outhouse with a teepee. Need I say more? Teepee is one thing we always make sure to take with us. Sorry folks, this just slipped in. Teepee is not standard equipment in the Guyana interior. Gary is standing with this man that was given a garden hoe and a new machete, which is very hard to come by in the interior. We sent in approximately 1,000 garden hoes donated by CFC Distributing of Rowan, Indiana. This is the ladies' kitchen. It is above average, but no dishwasher or sink. It is amazing what we can do without. These folks really know how to live within their means. Pet macaws are a very unique sight, among other several things that are very unique in Guyana. When you work and live with Amerindians, you discover it is not what you gather, but what you scatter that gives you true joy and satisfaction in your life. Matthew 28:19 tells us to go and make disciples of all nations. Norman Walker Ministries is reaching and blessing many people going where God is calling his team to go, doing what God leads. God bless. Please check out normanwalkerministries.org and pray about supporting this work. Thank you for watching.